At least St. Louis got their whole settlement together. You know, $790 million for moving the team out of St. Louis. The Rams, yeah. Good on them. They, they should have a team. I wish the Battle Hawks of the XFL were back. You know, but obviously not the case at the moment. But we have made it to Thanksgiving, one of the biggest days of the NFL season, in all honesty. And unfortunately, very much unfortunately, these three Thanksgiving games today, yes, I said today because it is after midnight here, where I am, probably 1 o'clock on the East Coast, so this will be up in a few moments here. All three of these games today are going to suck. All three of these games are going to suck. Like, the Bears are 3-7. and seven. The Lions have no wins. Like, Alvin Kamara is still, you know, out for the Saints. The Bills are bipolar. Cowboys have lost two of their last three. And the Raiders are in a free fall, you know, after, you know, just, you know, after all that. I'm expecting the Cowboys to win today, though. I, I, but watch me be completely wrong, though. Watch me be wrong, you know, because, you know, I mean, Raiders defense has shown no signs of life. Cowboys defense has looked great. It's just the offense hasn't looked the greatest the two of the past three games, though. It's It's been the offense, you know. Obviously, there were some things wrong against the Chiefs, you know, with Amari Cooper being out and stuff like that. But, you know, everything's, everything's fine. Everything is fine, you know. Everything is fine now. Okay. Um. I, I'm not. Ex I'm not. I'm, yeah. Again, I'm just not expecting Thanksgiving. These Thanksgiving games to go as well as I think they will. Um. You know. Th this is. This is. This is not. This is not going to be fun. This is not going to be fun. I'm not sure if Justin Fields is going to play for the Bears or not either. Like again, I, I, I don't. I don't think I'm going to even watch the Bears Lions game. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to do something else. You know that morning. Um, Sunday slate, however, is a little bit more intriguing. You know, the Steelers Bengals is a big one. Um, Titans Patriots going to be huge. You know, the Titans have started like the most players out of all the teams this year. In fact, they've broken like a record for most players started in a season so far. So that that is beyond interesting. And the Patriots, you know, you know Belichick has this team clicking at the right time. I don't know what I don't know what they've been doing, but they got it clicking. They got it looking good at the right time. Um, Steelers, Bengals, again, they really spread the NFL thanks to the three games on Thanksgiving really spread out the good games. They really spread them out this week. So Steelers, Bengals is going to be another good one. You know, Burrow and company going up against Big Ben. It'll be in Cincy, so that's going to be intriguing, you know. Eagles, Giants, always a matchup that just delivers no matter what. You know, because it's the Eagles and the Giants. Um, there's a couple other matchups too, like the Falcons, Jags, the Jets, Titans. That that are there. They're not. They're not matchups. You know that are, are going to move the needle or anything like that. They're just there. Um, the Dolphins, Panthers too. Kind of, kind of. It's kind of just there. Like the Dolphins are trying to save their season, but the Panthers, you know, with Cam Newton back at the helm, and, and you know things. Seeming, seemingly getting better for the Panthers, you know. Who knows? Who, who knows? Who knows at this point what what these two teams are going to do? Big one is the Bucks and the Colts. You know, the Bucks have, you know, they, they've had they've had some games this year where they haven't looked too great, and then they just go right back out and look like the Bucks that we saw late last year again you know a team that just looked at, at that damn good with Tom Brady and company at him so I wonder how Jonathan Taylor and the Colts are going to handle these bucks because again um, that defense for the Buccaneers they, that, that defense ain't no joke defense is not a joke at all we know this um, 
I mean, again, they got caught. They got, they got caught lacking two weeks ago against Washington, and they completely shut down the Giants. So, again, that one's going to be real interesting there. You know, the Bucks and the Colts, probably the game of the day, in all honesty. I mean, the Colts are red hot. Like, I don't, I don't know what Wentz and company are doing up there, but, they, but the Colts are red hot right now. Got a lot of momentum. They can keep proving the doubters wrong in this game, too. You know, because I mean, again, the Bucks. You know, just haven't they, they? They've been they've been pretty consistent, but they're, again, there's been times like the Washington game, for example. Again, I'll keep bringing it up because it's it's more recent. Like that game was just not good for Brady and company. It was just not good at all. Um, the later games, I, there's only three of them, and all three of them are actually pretty intriguing now. Like, originally I thought Vikings 49ers wasn't going to be anything special, but here we are, you know, now with the 49ers finally seemingly coming into something. They're, they're becoming something. I don't know what kind of team they're becoming. They're becoming something. Can the Vikings stay consistent, though? Can the Vikings stay consistent? Um, there was a whole thing with Everson Griffin that happened. Um... I hope he's alright, you know, because I mean things did, did not I, I I don't I don't know what I don't know what his situation is, but I hope he's alright. I really hope he is alright. And you know, there, there's probably a lot of injuries, you know, for both these teams. There's probably a lot of injuries for a lot of teams that I'm not even aware of. You know, like they, things, things at the NFL. I mean, especially the Titans. Things were just things have been weird, you know, this year already. And the injuries do get to piling up, you know, as as we are in the final third of the season, pretty much. You know, th things are piling up. These injuries are piling up for some of these teams. Um, Chargers Broncos divisional matchup. You know, you wonder. Can the Chargers keep this type of momentum up? They gotta be chasing the Chiefs right now. Chiefs are on bye this week, by the way, so you know, they, they, they gotta do they gotta do something. You know, and the Broncos they're trying to stay in this, but again, they the Broncos really were beneficiaries of an early schedule that did them very much favors. They, they, they did them it did them great favors. That's why the Broncos are. Over five or at 500 right now, it might be over 500. I can't remember exactly. Rams Packers could be a huge one though. If if Aaron Rodgers can you know get over his um, COVID toe, and yes, I I did hear that correctly. COVID toe, crazy stuff. You know I, I don't I don't know I don't know what's wrong. With him. I don't know what's wrong with Aaron Rodgers. Like all he needs to do is just 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 take the vaccine. I hope he's taking the vaccine by this point because my goodness, every time I hear something about Aaron Rodgers and how COVID has affected him and how the media likes to construe COVID with Aaron Rodgers, it makes me even more and more annoyed because I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't want to hear about it. Rams trying to get it all together. They are trying to get it all together in one of the biggest games of the week. You know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, Packers got to run the ball well. I think you know they got AJ Dillon, Aaron Jones. He should be back. I don't think I don't think Aaron Jones played um, last couple weeks. I don't I don't think he has. But you know. Like both both these teams got they got some got something solid. Packers trying to get that run game together, you know, um, and and the Rams trying to be a cohesive unit, you know, with all these new additions, you know, like Von Miller, Odell Beckham, you know, I mean they're they're they're, they're trying to become something that looks like a solid team. I'm not, they might rebound this week. The Rams do. They might rebound on the road. We'll see. We'll see if they do. Sunday night gives us the Browns, the Ravens. Now, both these teams, um, I'm not sure if Lamar is even playing. Uh, he might be. Um, you know, I know Baker Mayfield might be playing too. So, um, this this one this one's gonna be an interesting QB battle because both these QBs have not, you know, they 
like Lamar, like Lamar's played pretty well this year, and Baker really hasn't. But um, you know, like, ugh. like, like the Browns this year have been so inconsistent. The Ravens this year have given us a lot of thrillers, but at the same time. You don't want to have those types of games either. And I know the Browns are bringing a lot of guys back. Um, you know, Kareem Hunt should be coming back. Uh, they got some old linemen coming back. You know, this this Browns team looks like it'll be a little bit more healthy coming into the Ravens game. So we'll see what happens there. Um, so that's the Sunday night matchup, and then Monday night it's a matchup that I I do not care about at this point. Like Washington going up against the Seahawks because why not? Um, there's there's just there's just nothing here for me to say because like the Seahawks are three and seven. Their season is basically over. Like I, I don't see a path for them going anywhere. So there's just like there's just no reason to talk about this game. Like like I, I just don't know. I just don't know, man. But, like this is this should not have happened to the Seahawks. Like the Russell, like again, the Wilson injury really, really messed up Seattle's potential. Like and the way Seattle has been over the past few years too. You know, with the way they've been doing Russell Wilson. You know, with the O line issues and stuff like that, just not there, not there at all. Uh, and. You know, there, there have been times where it seems like the Seahawks should be winning these games. They should be winning some of these games, but they just haven't. They just haven't had it all there. You know, the offense isn't there to win these games. So, you know. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy Josh Allen probably whooping up on the Saints tonight. Cowboys probably winning tonight. I bet the Lions get their first win on Thanksgiving, too. Watch, watch. I bet they do. I bet they do. If they don't, well, that's a terrible prediction by me. Because, I mean, it, I, I don't know. I don't know at this point. Again, I'm probably not watching that Bears-Lions game. It's it's going to be that bad. But with that being said, everybody, I uh, I, 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 I have nothing else to say. In all honesty, like, I'm, 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 I'm not really particularly excited for this Thanksgiving slate anymore. The air has really gone out the sails. I think I might watch the Egg Bowl <laughs> late at night too, you know, just to, just to get it all over with. So, y'all take care and I will see you all on Monday for the NFL recap of week 12. I imagine that the NFL is going to have a weird, weird Sunday like it usually is because it's the NFL. Y'all know how it goes at this point. Talk to you later.